Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to War Thunder with yours truly WB886. Now today we're going to be on the dev server exploring the new mini patch for War Thunder, which is patch 1.41.26x. Um, this is basically a very early build of um, a mini patch that will be coming up for War Thunder, which introduces uh, a couple of new things. One main feature that is being introduced is a brand new ground forces map. Um, which I'll be showing you in a little bit. Uh, but first of all, we're going to go through what's new tech tree wise. Um, there, basically, most things that have been added are new premiums. Um, in fact, <laughs> all of the things that have been added, apart from one, are uh, new premiums. Most of them being Russian uh, ground forces tanks. Um, for instance, there is a new T26 you can order. Pretty decent, not something I would personally buy because I wouldn't see the need in it. Um, although there is a new T-34. Uh, this thing doesn't seem too bad. I like the camouflage scheme though. Um, very good in Winter War. And a few other things, but yeah. Uh, new new T-34 that's available. I'm not going to go into in-depth. This is more of a quick look into what's in the new um, update. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's have a look. There's a new KV-1, it's called KV-1E, and I believe the whole point of this is it's got extra armor. So it's going to be heavier, but it's going to be able to take a lot more damage, so to speak. So, good stuff, I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in that. Um, next thing of interest, I believe, is in the aviation point of view. There's a new lag, uh, and it's a lag with a 37mm autocannon. Uh, I, I'm not sure if this is the same one that's on the Yak-9. Let me have a quick look. NS-37. NS NS-45. So no, it isn't the same gun. But uh, it's still a 37mm uh, auto cannon. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in buying that. Um, obviously because it's a low tier 37mm auto gun. Um, in, in tier 2. So I'm sure that's going to get a uh, very warm welcome. There's a new IL-2, IL-2M, probably could have actually gone in a normal tech tree, but it's been put in as a premium, pretty much basically uh, an IL-2M an IL, uh, IL with a new paint scheme, so yep, always nice, IL-2s are good, uh, good machines, don't think there's anything else new currently, please forgive me if I'm wrong, apart from that, that looks new. Don't know whether it is, but I'm going to just show you it anyway, just in case. New I, um, IA, I-185. Don't know whether it's new or not, but yeah. Um, okay, so next would be Germany. Now, apparently the MC-202 has got its correct flight model now, which is always nice. Next thing that's new for the uh, aviation tree is a Romanian HS-129. I'm sure a lot of duck, duck fans will buy this. Um, it's not a bad looking plane. It's not fantastic either. But uh, still, it's there. Now, something that a lot of people aren't particularly happy with. Um, I'm going to be going through upsides and downsides of this patch. Uh, basically, before you can get the HS129B2, you have to purchase the Wellington. Which is a bomber that not many people like. Um, I mean, it's, an, it's a fun bomber, but it's not something that's good. And unfortunately, you have to purchase this to get to this lot, which isn't always great. I, I wonder if there's the same on the Russian tech tree. Yes, you have to go down this line, buy all, buy all of these to get that. So, yeah. Nothing new on the United States Air Force, uh, from what I can tell. Nothing new on the, R the Royal Air Force. So, unfortunately, we haven't got a Hawker Sea Fury yet. One new thing on the Japanese tech tree, which is this, the KI-27. Now, I've actually, I actually did originally record a video before this, uh, but I found out a few things beforehand. Now, I know the KI-27 is bugged. Uh, you can't actually see it or fly it or anything like that yet, so please bear with me on that, but that's new. And apart from that, that is about it. Um, there is a new ground forces map, as I'd mentioned before. Uh, I'm going to quickly hop into a custom battle, see if anyone's 
Anyone I trust has got one open. Um, not at the moment. LT Dowry. No, nobody I trust has currently got one up. Currently got one up. Um, no. Okay, we'll make our own one for now. Um, there's a new tank map. And uh, you probably saw from all of that. Uh, let's quickly go down and find it. Um, we'll do it from an aerial point of view because it's a lot quicker and uh, I can get around easier. Now, I believe this is the bigger map here. So we'll have a look at that. Uh, any random password, nobody cares really about that anyway. Uh, we'll grab our TU2 and uh, actually, I'll tell you what, we'll grab our IL. Uh, no, grab our TU2. TU2. And we will have a little look at this. Um, I have played on this map before. Um, as I said in the previous uh, video I had recorded for this, but I decided to redo it. Um, this map's really nice. It is it is a fa phenomenal map. Um, I'm very happy with the decision that I've done to make this map. Um, as you will see in this particular game. Um, it's very open. To me, it definitely seems like it's set in kind of like a France-Belgium type uh, type zone. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I get into game here. Um, it's a nice, it's a nice area, as you can see here. You've got your main square here, which is full of all your all your wonderful um, hidey spots. Looks like the map itself is fantastic. Uh, you have your airfield here to take off from. Uh, luckily. As you can see here, there's not there's not loads of AA spam, so you can actually fly in this map and do your job, but without it being too easy. The ma the AA in this seems pretty balanced. It can shoot you down if you let if you let it, but if you don't, um, and are swift at taking out all the AA, then you can do your job. Um, main note to see here is this area at sea. It's a castle area. Um, it's very it's very o it's very good uh, especially for things like tank destroyers holding uh, gaining that position would be an extremely helpful thing to do um, as you can see here there's AA emplacements in that area uh, very nice hill there for tank destroyers to possibly camp on on top as well as there all the all the capture points here are very close to each other um, which is interesting as an interesting design feature I think uh, could open a lot of opportunities from for some interesting uh, combats because a lot of people it's literally going to be people fighting over th that line. Uh, the reason why this map is so big as well is uh, due to the fact that possibly they are so close together and you need to flank around. So our spawn point is around there, I believe, and you can go all the way around here, right behind there, and all the way up to the side over there. So you can see it's it's opening up a lot of opportunities. Um, I believe personally in this map will be in all game modes. Simulator, realistic and arcade. It's the perfect size and the perfect layout to be in everything. So top hats off uh, to Gaijin developers for that. This area here I really like though. Uh, I think this is going to be an interesting opportunity for, uh, for tank combat as well as these high areas over here. Possibly that ridge line there. As I said, you can get right over here behind, and uh, you could even, if if you wanted to, get up there and possibly use that ridge line. Is a nice area, too. Um, there are a few new operations as well, and a few new maps for uh, arcade, which I'll show you in a minute. But this is a quick little look at the new map for ground forces. But without further ado, let's get back into looking at the other stuff. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure if this is a new map, but uh, it's definitely new to me. It's called Weapons Test, uh, and the description quite literally is German Command is testing new weapons, British Air Forces are intercepting the deadly machines. So my best guess is that it's basically uh, V1s. I'm sure we'll find out. There you go, V1 bombers. Um, I have never seen this map before. So that's pretty interesting. Um, 
Let's have a look down here. I wonder if you can wink at them. We'll have a little look. But yes, basically this one is intercepting V1 buzz bombs. Uh, which is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty awesome. Um, I think that's a nice idea, personally. Let's see if we can wing tip them. We'll let those V1s get past. Uh, whoa! That must be all the AI. Okay, don't worry. Um, let's have a look at these V1 buzz bombs, shall we? Okay, right. Slow right down. Let's have a look at these bad boys. Looking pretty cool so far. Um, let's try and catch up to them. Let's see if we can wingtip them. Yep, you can wingtip them, guys. <laughs> awesome. Right, well, uh, okay, well, that's that confirmed. That's that map done. Now, the next map you're going to see is one I am so happy is in-game. Um, I used to... This map, this particular one, is from Isle 2 Sturmovic Birds of Prey. This was my favourite map ever. I am so happy to see this in game now. No joke, it's a singular cap point, but it was it 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 was a fantastic map. Um, this is what people used to play on. This was the go-to map um, if you were playing Isle Two Stimovic Birds of Prey, and I'm sure Birds of Prey players are going to be delighted to see this in War Thunder. Um, I remember very clearly having to land on these with my HE-111 bomber and uh... Okay. <laughs> Fucking nailed that one, didn't I? Um, with my HE-111 bomber. And uh, I didn't... That's pretty awesome though. I am now a bicycle. <laughs> But, uh, awesome map. Absolutely awesome. I am going to use this a lot, uh, in, in my, uh, in my custom battles, I think. I absolutely adored this map. So, yeah, good stuff. But, yeah, that's about it for patch 1.41.26. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to click that like button below. Subscribe if you're new around here for more War Thunder content. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time.